What's going on everybody? It's Eric Ray with the back here and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you one of the most important plays you need to use in Madden 19 This is a play that you need to always have in your arsenal that you need to have as part of your scheme because This play can result in a lot of one play touchdowns against most coverages in the game It can if not a one play touchdown get you a lot of big gains. So Don't turn off the video because when I tell you the play a lot of you're gonna be like really really this is what you're about to talk about but i'm gonna show you why it's important so in every playbook in this game you have certain types of like trips formations or trio formations here you can see i'm in the saints playbook right now this is the y off trio week but if you scroll through there's other ones like you have like the tray y flex the tray open pretty much any formation with three receivers to one side not necessarily like trips tight end though but like the trios or the tray formations a lot of these formations have good plays in them, but what they all have in common is the play four verticals. And I know you're saying, like, you're not really about to talk about four verticals, but I am about to talk about four verticals because this play is very good when you mix it into your offense. You can take the top off the defense with this play or get big gains, and it's just something you have to force your opponent to respect because when you force them to respect certain plays, that's what opens up everything else for you. So why is four vertical so good? Well, like this, this formation in general is one of the better formations in the game. The Saints Y off trio week. Why? Because they have other plays in here that are just a pain to defend. The plays with like the post routes that cross the field and nothing guards them. You have a lot of good plays. Obviously, you can run the ball out of it, things like that. But you have to, you have to always mix in four verticals. This isn't a play that can be your main play, right? This isn't the play that you run up and down the field this is not that play this is the play you pull out every you know so many plays you might go a drive and not call the play but then every other drive and pull it out and the potential to take the top of the defense with this is just it's too good to pass up and it beats any coverage so the main route here is the rb route you want a fast receiver here i have will fuller here he's 95 speed if you have the tyreek hills of the world if you play with the chiefs or you're in mud obviously you want guys like tyreek hill in this spot because this route can really get nasty. Now, yes, if an opponent uses the route, it is what it is. But that's why this is a play that you mix in. Because when you have other routes and other plays that they have to worry about too, they can't just sit on one route. So, let's show a cover three first. A base align cover three. Because a lot of people base align their defense. Most people base align their defense. So, you have your running back and all the four verticals plays. You always have like the running back on an underneath check down. That's just there like if the pressure's coming or if you see your opponent go to user it. You just check it down and go to the next play. You don't force a pass. But I want you to see how this how this works against cover three. So when it gets about right here, you pass lead this up, you rack catch it, and you see. We're striking from like 70 yards away for a one play touchdown. That's why you pull this play out every once in a while. Because when they have to worry about everything else, they can't just sit on this one route every play. You pull this play out two or three times a game, you're going to pick up big chunks of yardage if your opponent has to worry about other things. And like I said, if, if your opponent sits on it, you check it down. Again, cover three, pass lead it up. I got hit there. We'll run it one more time. It is practice mode, so there is, you know, the block shed is going to be a little bit more intense in uh, practice mode. Probably get to us a few times in the video. That's just kind of how it is. If you have a good offensive line, you know, in game, you should be fine. Again, you pass lead it up. You rack catch it. You always have that little hole, that window there. We got down at the one there. No big deal. That's essentially a one-play touchdown. If you get to the one, you're scoring. Now, cover three with no baseline. If it's not a baseline cover three, you're not going to get the one play touchdown, but you're going to be able to pass lead this over the middle and uh, aggressive catch it, which means you use the Y or the triangle button. So when you see this type of look, you see he'll get bumped. When he gets about right here, you pass lead this over the middle, you click on and you catch it like that. Now, the DB got a really good animation there and was able, I don't know if he knocked the ball loose. He might have. But usually you're going to get a really good animation right in front of that safety and just like so he'll tackle you like that and you're good this is extremely hard to defend because the safeties in this game they run themselves out of the play a lot they they kind of backpedal a little bit too far and that's malik hooker a pretty decent safety you see so right when we get in this little window with will fuller right when we're passing the linebackers you pass lead this over the middle you bullet pass lead this over the middle you click on to will fuller and you cut inside and you hold the wire triangle button and you see he's going to get this little like side jump animation like that you see he's way in front of the safety the safety has no chance to pick this off he's almost 10 yards off he's going to come down make the tackle on you you just got a huge gain we'll show it one more time it is extremely consistent that window is always going to be there as soon as you pass the linebackers you pass it over the middle you click on 
that time the safety couldn't even make a, a tackle as soon as we caught it. We got a couple yards after it. This is always going to be there. Again, this is if they don't base the line, they're covered through. And you do want a good QB. Deshaun Watson ain't the best QB in the game, so he, he has the potential to kind of throw some ducks or some overthrows. But you definitely want a, as good of a QB as possible because when you're pass leading, if you have a QB that's not as accurate on you know the deep accuracy, he can make some wild throws that could you know lead to a turnover if you're not careful. Now let's go to cover two. Cover two, this is going to burn and split both of the safeties deep every time. And a lot of people like running cover two. And if they run cover two, you can just quick strike this. You can get rid of the ball quick because he's going to burn any linebacker that's over the middle of the field. And the safeties are going to flare out a little bit too far uh, to stop this. It's just plain and simple. So you can see here. As soon as, I, as soon as I got a decent little distance right here, I, I just lob this up. I don't even have to wait longer. With cover three, you got to wait a little bit longer to bomb it. But as soon as the, you know, I got to let, let the safeties, you know, split a little bit because they have to, you see this safety over here, he has to respect DeAndre Hopkins. He has to stay with them. And this safety, or um, yeah, this safety right here has to respect Demarius Thomas, who's going to be coming as well. So as soon as we get about right here, I know because I have the speed that this safety ain't going to be able to keep up with me. So I lob it up and I just outrun the coverage for a touchdown. It's going to happen like that literally every single time against a cover two do it one more time so again you know if someone if you've been running your other plays yada yada you know it's been a while then you come out and if, if they're just a little bit late if they're not there with the user you bomb this up and it, it I mean that, that's free points right there that's why it's the it's one of the best mix in plays in the game it's not a play that you build around it's a play that you mix in and make your opponent say hey I got all I have to always worry about that slot guy or he's gonna tear me apart now yes again like I said let's just pretend the user there you see the users going there oh you boom you dump it down you, you pick up your yards underneath you're gonna get easy yards underneath with this halfback a lot of people the first couple times they see this play it's a habit of people to jump on the running back because people love throwing this little running back route just you know especially like beginner type people they love that route to the running back they love running four verticals and throwing that route to the running back so when people see this a lot of times their first instinct we got super block shed it there their first instinct is to jump on that route and if they do that that's perfect because that's leaving open the route that you really want to go to and you can see underneath you could pick up good yards with this route now let's move on because that's not that's not all we have but if they play two man under you can one play touchdown two man under as well and you're thinking how he's manned up because because of this route, this this route, not even just in this play, in other plays, this route, it's it, it always gets behind the main defender. It's kind of a glitchy route. It usually blows by off the line, and because it's a, like a streak that slants to the inside, it always outruns the main defender. So, like, look at the line right there, how he just got way past him. And then again, we lob it up now, because now it's, it's essentially just like the cover, too. It's, it's a two-deep shell. The only difference is the guy's manned up now, and he's going to outrun his defender if you got good speed there. So he's going to beat him off the line. He's going to get the inside leverage on him because the, the route slants to the inside. And at that point, you just live it up because he's got the safeties beat. You see, again, he blows off the line. And we're just getting super block shitted there. But you can see how wide open he was again. But we'll, we'll run it one more time. Pinch the D-line here. Hope maybe that help with the block shit. Because, you know, like I said, practice mode block shit is just it's completely relentless. Um, but you can see, again, I mean... You're outrunning everybody. It's one play touchdown. So you've seen we bombed cover three, cover two, cover two man. And now the last, uh, I guess, main coverage that you might see is cover four. Now cover four is the one, the one main coverage shell, like I said, because there's the four main coverage shells. Cover two man, cover two, cover three, cover four. That's what people run. Cover four is the only one that you can't really one play touchdown. That's maybe the only like downfall of it. You can't one play touchdown it, but you can always catch it over the middle just like we did with the cover three the unbaseline cover three when we kind of just pass let it over the middle same thing the safeties are going to run themselves out of the play so as soon as you cross the linebackers you click in you make the wide catch you're going to catch it in front of the safeties every time this is the hardest thing to pull off in the play because all the other ones are pretty much just bombing out the coverage this takes a little bit of timing. You got to practice, you know, clicking on, cutting over the middle. It's really not hard. If you practice in about 10 minutes, you should get it. If you're an above average player, you should already know how to do this again. I mean, it, it, the, the window is there every time because the safeties run themselves out of the play. Now there, that was the first bad pass Watson through. Like I said, 
if you know you don't have the best deep accuracy that will happen sometimes but you saw as many times as we've thrown it that's the, really the only bad pass we've got so that's been a pretty good ratio seeing as we've thrown it over 10 times so you see it, it it's every time the window is there because they're gonna they're gonna get behind the linebackers and they're gonna get in front of the safety you click on and you Y catch it or if you're on PlayStation's triangle button you're catching it every time and then again if you see guys running with them you check it down to your running back if you see the user bail out to that spot you check it down to the running back but you can see just how good this play is the ability to one play touchdown pretty much all of the popular formations in the game and even in situations where you can't get the one play touchdown you can use or catch it over the middle for huge yards so even if you're not bombing it for 70 yards well you're still picking up 20 to 30 by passing it over the middle which is still a big chunk especially if it's a before half or in the game situation you need to get field goal range or get an end zone you pull out plays like this and you haven't run it a whole bunch in the game you take the top off the defense and get a lot of yards so I just urge you to use four verticals in, in your game. If you use any of the trips or trade type formations, they should all have four verticals and most of them should work the same way. Um, and it's just something you should mix in to your game plan because if, if you make them worry about a couple other good passing plays you have and then you insert this play that otherwise looks very basic, but if you know how to use it and then you're combining it with the other good plays you have, it can be a lot for your opponent to deal with because he's now got to worry about somebody on the right side of the field, but then he's got to worry about a, a good route you have in another play on the opposite side of the field. And then, oh, he's still got to worry about, hey, you might run a draw or you might run an inside zone. He's got to watch out for that. And that's when you start piecing plays together that's how a scheme can become dangerous and this is one of those plays that helps the trips formations be dangerous when you can take the top off the defense like this so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did as always just drop a like comment subscribe and i will see you guys next time